Before you leave, I just want to um, I want to mention that uh, I know that you have a, a warrant article with the wastewater treatment plant. We've all been given one of these books. Uh, most of us, maybe all of us, have read every single page. Um, and I heard you talking at the selectmen's meeting about um, allowing the selectmen and also the budget committee people, if they would like to come down to the um, wastewater treatment plant to take a quick tour. Yep. And, uh, and so I, I just wonder if we could leave it as I don't, I, I don't, I'm not going to try to organize that we go in groups or whatever. I would like to think that perhaps, uh, Tim. I have a question. Uh, th that's a very technical and lengthy document. So I hired an independent consultant. Would my independent consultant be allowed to come with me on that tour? Uh, absolutely. Thank you. No problem. The, um, the, yes, you can bring Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but not here. <laughs> but in any case, so if anybody wants to go your phrase, Jennifer. <laughs> no, wants to go down there, um, call you know, call another member if you think you might want to go together with another person. Um, I might want to ask Bob Ladd. I might want to ask Tim Jones. Who knows? But uh, perhaps we could you know go as in little groups. I'm going to leave that up to the individual. And then the other thing I wanted to just mention before you leave is that um, on our schedule uh, for our future meetings, we may, um, I've got, with that particular article, it's pretty lengthy, and we may want, as a committee, and we can decide this once we get to other business, uh, we may want to have you come in and make a pre, you know, a big presentation like you did with the selectmen, yep. um, and do the pictures, the uh, slide, whatever, all of that that you did. Um, We'd be glad to. And and what would probably do is I've got four snow days built into the schedule. Mm -hmm. We'd pick one of those days. I'd let you know well in advance. Sure. Okay. And so that's just something I wanted to mention for you. Okay. No okay. problem. Okay. Yeah. Because that, that is a very big, big uh, issue, and I'm looking forward to talking about that and, and you know getting into it and making sure, um, as I had suggested when I talked to the town manager a couple of weeks ago, um, that I think that you need to um, perhaps make a video that you can put on to Channel 22 and keep looping it. Mm -hmm. Because back when uh, Bill Wren was the police chief and they were trying to replace that uh, cinder block <laughs> building down there at the beach, he made a video and he showed you know, what it looked like on the inside and the problems and the roof collapsing and different things. And if you had a video that was possibly able to capture this nightmare, okay, mm -hmm. uh, people would probably... Uh, I think they need to see yeah. visually yeah. and realize the importance and the conditions, the working conditions, ventilation, corrosion, um, pumps, that, uh, things that just are frozen open or frozen shut. Um, it's an incredible, incredible thing, that, and, and we need to really get out there and make sure people understand what's going on here, what we're asking for. It's not something, it's not something that's... Um, it, it's an absolute absolute necessity mm -hmm. that we address this I agree. and address it very soon. Um, there are things that I don't even know if we can wait till very soon. There are some things in that book that need to be done now, today. Yep. There are safety issues, and I I don't want to talk about this anymore because we'll be talking about it so much in the future. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to see somebody get hurt. There's there's a lot of that too. Mm -hmm. Slippery floors and. Mm -hmm. and things that are missing railings and, and open pits that people could fall into. There's just too many too many things. So in any case... With uh, respect to touring the plant, yes, at any time that meets your respective... And of um, course works with your schedule as well. You just make right. that very clear that I can't do it today, I maybe right. can do it next week type of it's, thing. It's really going to be up to the two chief operators, Mike Doobie and, and Mike Carl. Mm -hmm. I do have to say though that there will be certain times, for instance, when we have... Uh, by self-flight delivery. 
It's a strong chemical. Um, the plant would be off limits to everybody during those particular times. Absolutely. I also have to warn you that, um, for instance, if you go in the headworks, it will literally take your breath away. If you have an asthmatic condition, do not. Well, we'll bring you to the outside, but don't go inside. I would strongly suggest. Okay, that's so. that's very good. I know we don't want to talk about, it, but I just want to say one thing because just I went there yesterday, mm -hmm. and I think I talked. My Carl said that you guys were planning on having a couple people from Channel Twenty Two yeah. walk yeah. through there with a camera. Yeah. But and that's all well, and I think that'll be great having it on Channel Twenty Two. But for the budget committee, especially, and I think maybe later closer to town meeting, mm -hmm. if you could arrange certain days because. Yeah. Okay. When you actually go there and smell and the moisture and the ventilation, it's it's awful. Okay. okay. Yes, Bob. Uh, I, I wonder if you couldn't add to that video the flooding at the beach and group that on. Where you're going to have more articles concerning that. It's it's a it, you know if you show what's going on, the likelihood of response is probably those projects um, are more. I, I would agree with you. But I think they may be uh, PowerPoint presentations that we put together and then and the channel them to and have them for um, Yeah, it's it, It'd be painfully slow to say, well, here we are watching the tide come in. <laughs> you, know, golf channel. you just have to go to yeah, the peak. Right, right. Yeah. And show the barrels floating yeah. up the street. Regina, Actually, Jay Diener took some fantastic pictures yep. of a king tide. I don't know whether it was a king tide. The king tide contest. Uh, they just those? announced the winners. Uh, I think yesterday. And Hampton, I think Hampton went all. I was just gonna say I think Hampton took four out of five. Yeah, and the pictures are pretty uh, significant if you look at them. Tim, you want to say something else? Yeah, I have to. Go I'm sorry, I don't want to. Many years ago, um, the selectmen. And none of them are presently selectmen, except one, uh, used to have uh, a meeting in which they paraded or campaigned for all of their favorite Warren articles. And they ceased that practice because it was increasingly perceived as a propagandist uh, move. People were not allowed an opportunity for equal time, would oppose them, etc. And so I wanted to just bring some sensitivity to this. I don't have any problem with you bringing facts out, but to actually use uh, public television as a campaigning vehicle, I think, is extremely problematic. I was so I just wanted to have some sensitivity introduced into that. Thank you. I, I was considering it as an educational tool, but enough said on that. Thank you, Tim.